You wish me to return to the cold nothingness of space? You wish me to give up the body? Never! What's going on, movie goers, movie lovers, and movie fanatics? So I got some good news for the X-Men fans out there. It's looking like Simon Kinsberg will be directing the next X-Men movie, which is set to be released next year called the X-Men Dark Phoenix. Now, the majority of you guys knew what that was. It's just Simon Kinsberg is now appointed to direct this movie. Now, if you don't know who he is, he's worked on pretty much majority of the X-Men films. He usually was a co-writer, and I think he produced on some of them. He actually, I think he, I want to say he produced Logan as well, and Deadpool 2. Um, but correct me if I'm wrong, please. Um, if he didn't produce, I know he, he wrote some of the story, I guess. Um, but yeah, he's looking to be, you know, the new director of the X-Men franchise. Well, not the X-Men franchise, just the next X-Men movie, which I'm all in for. Um, Brian Singer did a good job with X-Men 1, 2, and X-Men Days of Future Past. Um, but I feel like it's time for some change. And this is good change, because I feel like Brian Singer has given us the same X-Men films over, over and over again. And I'm tired of it. So I want to see a new director's approach to certain things that, you know, directors can do while directing a film. Because um, every director has a different style, hands down, literally. I mean, look at Zack Snyder and look at James Gunn. Two completely different directors. Um, but this is good. I'm excited. Um, I, like, I like the fact that Simon Kinsberg said yeah to this, or he agreed, or maybe even asked. But I'm all in. He knows his X-Men films. He knows his source material. So I have a feeling that he, he will do this film justice. So I'm happy to hear that. Um, another news. It's looking like majority of the cast from X-Men Apocalypse, like Michael Fassbender, James McAvoy, Jennifer Lawrence, uh, Nicholas Holt, will, will be coming back to reprise the roles. I'm okay with this. I'm, I'm okay with this. But to a certain extent. I do not want this X-Men film to evolve around Professor X, Magneto, and Mystique. Especially fucking not Mystique. I'm tired of seeing Mystique. I can't stand Mystique, and I can't stand Jennifer Lawrence. Um, not, not, you know, throwing shade at her acting. I'm just, I'm sick of seeing her in these fucking X-Men films. I really am. She doesn't do it for me. And I'm tired of... Oh, Mystique is the face of the X-Men. That's bullshit. She's always, been a, she's always been a part of the Brotherhood. She was never the fucking leader of the X-Men. So when that, that, that scene in X-Men Apocalypse, where she was like, you're not children anymore, or some shit like that, and she was like leading the X-Men in the danger room, that was some bullshit, and I was upset. I did not like that shit whatsoever. I was like, Mystique, know your fucking role. <laughs> Sorry for the vent. I just had to you know, let it out, you guys. Um, but yeah, I don't want it to evolve around these three characters. I don't. We've seen it already. We've seen it already. Let's make this evolve around the core X-Men. Cyclops, Jean, Storm, um, Nightcrawler, Iceman, Beast. But change up Beast's look. I did not like the way he looked. I feel like he looked like a Wolfman type thing. I liked him in, um, I actually really liked him in X-Men Last Stand. I thought that was the most accurate, accurate, beast form that we've gotten from the comic to the big screen but this new shit not a big fan of first class i thought he was decent but this you know days of future past and x-men apocalypse was not a fan and stop having him change from human to not human leave him in beast form that's what he is let him embrace that shit <laughs> but yeah that's i don't know we'll see how this goes um also it's going to be taking place in 1991 so obviously after um x-men apocalypse which is cool with me um as long as they have those dope ass retro costumes they they had on at the end of x-men apocalypse i actually dug those costumes a lot better than those fucking black leather costumes that we had in x-men one two and three i'm done with that black leather shit 
I'm done. Give us some actual great looking costumes. But it's 2017. You guys can do it now. So I'm in for that. I want to see that. I really do. Um, yeah, man. Oh, and Jessica Chastain is going to be playing the villain. We, I don't know what villain she's going to be playing, but it's, she's, it's looking like she's going to be playing, you know. Oh, hold on. She's in talks to play Lid Laura, whatever that's. What the fuck did that? I can't even read that. Whatever. She's the villain, pretty much. Um, it's kind of weird because Jessica Chastain kind of looks like Jean in a way. Like, she really does. It looks like, you know, she can play an older version of Jean. So that's, that's kind of trippy to me. And it also looks like she can be playing, playing Poison Ivy. I mean, I feel like she has the look of the sexy Poison Ivy. So, uh, are you uh, DC fans out there? What do you think of that? <laughs> Let me know. Comment. But, yeah. It's pretty much looking like, you know, you know this film is in still early, early productions. They're, they're writing the script right now. Um, and they should be, honestly, they should be filming soon if it's coming out next year. So maybe the maybe the script is in you know early writings. So hey man, I'm all in for it, you guys. I really want this film to do well. Uh, the Dark Phoenix Saga. I haven't read the comic book, but it's fucking dark and it's gritty and it's sad from what I've heard. So I'm all in for that shit. I like it. You know, Jean's gonna die, I guess. I actually have this fucking Ultimate X Men guidebook. It's huge. It's massive. It tells you pretty much everything about the X Men. Like, literally everything. It's from all the X-Men to the smaller characters to even the fucking mansion. Like, every little detail in this fucking book. And it talks a little about, you know, um, uh, Dark Phoenix. So it's pretty cool. It's not bad. I, I'm going to read up on this, you know, and see what I can uh, get from it and prepare myself for the movie. Because I want this shit to be good. I really do, you guys. I mean... Given time after time, especially the, the failure after X-Men Apocalypse, I was just so disappointed and frustrated with Brian Singer. I was like, really? Really? Come on now, man. You can't be putting out shit movies like this anymore. You just can't. Like, you can't. No more shit comic book movies. I'm done with them. <laughs> Learn the formula and execute the plan. Please. But... I'm excited, man. Uh, I am excited, but I'm a little skeptical about this film. I really am. I did like the younger cast, you know, the younger X-Men. I thought they did a good job. Um, I really want Cyclops to be the leader that he is. I feel like he has to step up because I feel like in, you know, the previous films, they always pushed his ass to the side and killed him off and be like, you know what? This is Wolverine. This is Wolverine. This is Wolverine. And I was like, no, Cyclops is the fucking leader of the X-Men. Please give us that glimpse of what we got in the comics and what we got in the TV shows, the cartoon shows. He is the leader. Please give us that. Um, yeah, dude. It's crazy. Um, I'm excited, though. I want this film to do well, you guys. I really do. I don't want any comic book movie to do bad. That would just be a fucking douchebag move. And that's not me. That's not me. I want every film to do well. I don't go into a movie and be like... Oh my God, this movie's going to be shit. Why am I here? I want it to do well. I want it to be good and I want to be entertained. But, you know, as far as, you know, the story, man, please make Professor X, Magneto, and Mystique take a back seat and let this young cast embrace and embark on what they have for the X-Men culture and community and for the films. This is their time to shine, literally. If this film does bad and, you know, the young cast doesn't do well, I, I feel like that. That's going to be it for this fucking movie. You know, for, or at least for this franchise. So this film has to be good. It really does. As far as, like, Deadpool coming out, no worries. I know that film's going to be great because the first one was fucking fantastic. And they got Josh Brolin to play Cable. Even better. I fucking, I, I couldn't believe when they cast Josh Brolin. I was like, what? Thanos is going to be Cable? I was all excited. Um... New Mutants, I'm not too sure about. I have no idea what the fuck that's going to be about. New Mutants, I guess. I don't know if all these films are going to have some kind of continuity between them. So it's going to be interesting to see what they do with that. But I'm ready, man. I'm ready for, you know, that, that breaking X-Men film. And when I say X-Men film, I don't mean like a Logan or a Deadpool. Those are solo films. I mean like an X-Men film where they're all together. And I want this shit to be good. I really do. So I like Days of Future Past. I like X-Men First Class. 
and you know, uh, X Men United in the first X Men. X Men Last Stand didn't do it. I'm the Juggernaut, bitch. God, that scene was so fucking bad. <laughs> so bad. Um, yeah, and X Men Apocalypse, and you know, of course, like the solo Wolverine movies. When you, uh, the Wolverine, I thought was cool. Um, Wolverine Origins was a piece of shit. Did not like that movie whatsoever. God awful. Oh God. Deadpool's in that movie, you guys. Oh, a form of Deadpool. So fucking bad. He had claws coming out from like his forearms. Like, you know, what the fuck? Get this shit right. <laughs> but yeah, man, you guys, let me know what you guys think about this. I mean, what do you have in mind? What do you what do you feel like is right for this franchise? Do you like that Simon Kinberg is gonna be directing this film? Um Yeah, let me know, man. Uh Maybe this might be R-rated. We don't know yet. This could be. I mean, it is the Dark Phoenix. You know, it's very, very fucking gritty. So, I mean, why not? Deadpool and Logan, obviously, were great. So, I'm hoping for the best, you guys. I'm hoping for the best. All right, you guys. Well, comment down below. Let me know what you thought about my video. Let me know what you think about all of this updates and news on the X-Men Dark Phoenix film coming out next year in the summer. All right, you guys, like, comment, share, subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. And cut. I'm out, you guys. Peace. We out. We out. We out.